Hola, my name's Marie Maribel. Welcome to Roots Love Yoga, Volume 1. Welcome to Roots Love Warm Up. Today we will warm up our shoulders, our wrists, and the hamstrings. We will play with different ways to uh, stretch the wrists, open up the shoulders for mobility and movement, and we'll play with a few sun salutations to see what feels right. First things first, we'll start with the shoulders. With this one, you'll want to use a strap, and the strap will be as wide as your shoulders, no wider. When you hold on to it, make sure that you hold the metal piece, that way it's nowhere near your face. And with this one, we'll start with the shoulders on the back. So instead of being here, make sure to start with the shoulders up, back, and broad. Bring the strap in front of you. See if you can keep the belly in and the spine long. From here, we'll go back and forth. Inhale it up, and maybe you bring it back. Exhale. Inhale it up and exhale three more times. If you notice that there's any hiccups or it's catching, make sure to have your hands a little bit wider. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. The next one, that's the first version. If that felt good, do that again. Or maybe you shorten it a little bit and you make your stance a little bit more narrow. We'll do it again. Keep the belly back, shoulders in the socket. Let's do five. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Continue to breathe. And I like to do this right before I do any hand balancing, anything that's upper body heavy, sometimes before back bending or lifting, just to make sure that the shoulders are nice and lubricated. Last one here. Keep the belly back. And then we'll do a third variation. It's the same, but slightly narrower, if that feels right. If you notice that your shoulders catch, that's too narrow. So make sure to get a little bit broader. Also make sure that the low back doesn't collapse like that, right? So we separate the shoulders, keep the belly back. We separate the shoulders from the spine. Two more. Last one. Good, let go of the strap for a second, see how you feel. And let's do a little bit of wrists. With this one, we can make circles with the wrists. Just make a fist and see if at first you can bring the wrist up, wrist down, wrist up. Keep the fist forward, wrist up and down. And then gradually doing circles, just with the wrists. You can open the hands and include the fingers. So the fingers are part of the stretch. They're not passively being rotated in a circle. Pause and switch directions. See how this feels. Eventually open the hands, use the fingers as well as the wrists. Nice. Let it go and observe how you feel. One more shoulder stretch. With this one, we'll use a strap again, and it'll be wider than your hips, wider than your shoulders. Inhale, bring it up, keep the shoulders in the sockets, and slowly exhale as you bend the right elbow. From here, lift the chest up, draw the top of the throat back, and breathe. Three, keep the bottom ribs back. Two. One, inhale it to center. Other side, exhale, bend the left elbow, draw the right wrist down. As you inhale, lift the chin parallel to the earth, and exhale, draw the top of the throat back. Belly is in, breathe. One, make sure that the elbow is facing up rather than out. Two. One, 
Inhale at center and exhale, let it go. Observe how you feel. Let's start with a little bit of wrist work. You can put the strap away for now. With this one, see if you can bring your hands underneath the shoulders and the palms are wide, <clears throat> fingers are spread, wrist under the shoulders. From here, let's do a circle. Slowly bring the shoulders and upper body to the right, then forward and then to the left. Back, right, forward, left, center. Continue, and as you do so, notice that you have four corners of the hands. You have the pinky side, index finger, outer edge of the wrists, and inner thumbs. All four corners are pressing down. Once you find center, pause, and then other side, left, forward, right, back, left, forward, right, back. Continue to maintain all four corners of the hands down. Again, if I were to go from the inside, it's index knuckle, thumb, outer edge of the pinky, and outer edge of the wrists. Make sure you feel all four corners of the hands down. Eventually, you find center. The next one will be a little bit of a wrist lifting up. Make sure that the knees are as wide as the hips underneath the hips. Pressing the hands down, you'll keep the knuckles down and inhale, lift the wrists up and bring the wrists down. Inhale it up and down. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. Continue. If this feels good, you can continue. If you choose, you can have a slightly longer stance where the knees are further back. Maybe you choose to straighten one or both legs. Make sure wherever you are, you're warming up rather than working really hard. Two more. Good. And slowly, after your second one, sit back. Observe how the wrists feel. Now let's start setting up for um, a little bit more work with the hands. With this one, we'll decide which feels right. So the hands are as wide as the shoulders. For me, that's about 14 and a half to 15 inches. The first set will have the index fingers facing forward. From here, meet me in plank. Bring the belly in and tuck the toes, straighten the legs. Inhale, you're on the ball mounds of the feet. The legs are active and you can close the eyes as you exhale, bend the elbows. How does it feel? Inhale, stretch forward. Shoulders are on the back, look up, and tuck the toes, lift the hips, press down through the hands. Observe, with your sensations, no need to label with words, how does it feel to have your index fingers facing forward? Once you have an observation, allow the knees to come down. The second option will be the middle fingers facing forward. Everything else will be the same. So with the middle fingers facing forward, you can walk your knees back, tuck the toes, belly is in, rise up to plank. Inhale here, close the eyes. As you exhale, bend the elbows, observe sensation. Inhale, stretch the body forward, shoulders on the back, and tuck the toes, lift the hips, draw the head down, biceps by your ears. This is option number two, middle fingers forward. How does it feel in your body to have the middle fingers facing forward? Not with words, just observe sensation. Once you have observed sensation, come down to the knees. Exhale. Third option is a space between the index fingers and the middle fingers, they face forward. From here, everything else is the same. Belly is in and the legs are long and extended. Keep the thighs active and close the eyes as you exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, stretch everything forward, the heart rises, and tuck the toes, lift the hips, press down through all four corners of the hands. Observe how this feels. Observe sensation, not with words. And slowly, once you have observed sensation, you can rest. So you had three options. You can have the index fingers facing forward, if that felt right for you, 
From here on out, for the rest of the course, you will have your index fingers forward in down dog, in chaturanga, in any inversion. If you choose to have the middle fingers forward, that's how you would do the rest of your practice. And if you choose a space in between. So regardless, the hands are shoulder width, but you choose where to put your fingers. Okay. From here now, we'll stand up and we'll start warming up the hamstrings. You'll need two blocks. And they're as wide as the shoulders. Bring them tall. With this one, we'll work with a little bit protraction and retraction of the shoulders. The feet are hip distance apart and the hands are on the blocks. The knuckles are on the edge of the block. And from here, we will exhale, drop the heart, draw the shoulders onto the back, and inhale, hug the shoulders forward. Exhale, shoulders on the back, and it's as though you're hugging a large tree or telephone pole. Let's slowly bring it back. And elbows, shoulders forward. Let's call this protraction and shoulders on the back, retraction. Protract and retract. Make sure that whatever you're doing, your low back is steady. So your sacrum, your low back does not move. After two more, we will start changing it up. All right, second set. If that felt good, you can stay here or you can slowly bring the blocks towards medium. Same thing, the knuckles are over the edge of the block and the shoulders are over the wrists. Inhale here and exhale, heart down. Inhale, hug the shoulders forward, protract, and exhale, shoulders onto the back, retract. Inhale forward, exhale back. Allow the shoulders to be shoulders meaning don't include spinal movements into this. Right now, we're just lubricating the shoulder girdle. And also, if you choose, you can micro bend the knees, but allow the back of the legs to lengthen as you're protracting and retracting. Good. And last set, pause. Slowly bring the blocks to the lowest level if you choose, if it feels right for you. And have the knuckles over the edge of the blocks. Exhale, heart down. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, shoulders on the back. Inhale, shoulders forward. Continue this action five more times. Two. Notice if there's more movement and articulation in the joints because gradually, as the shoulders warm up, we get a little bit larger range of motion within that joint. And on the next one, we pause in neutral and remove the blocks. You can move them to the side and rest down. Hug your elbows, let your head hang. Observe your toes, bring the weight towards the toes. Keeping this here, look at your calves, draw them in towards the center and back. Look towards the thighs, draw them in and back and apart. Look at the belly is in and exhale, the ribs are lower down your thighs, closer towards the knees. Let your neck be long, let your elbows be heavy. Three breaths. If this feels right for you, stay. If you prefer, you can hug your elbows behind the legs. Everything else is the same. Weight towards the toes, calf and thighs back, belly in, side body long, shoulders on the back, elbows down, and neck long. Breathe deeply. So right now we're stretching the back of the legs, the hamstrings. We're lengthening and decompressing the spine and we're gradually easing the nervous system towards work. So it's warming up and waking up. Allow the elbows to release, so release your hands. Pressing down through the feet, bring your belly in. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, rise, low belly in, middle belly in, upper belly back, shoulders on the back, and top of the ears back. Observe how you feel. Palms are together. Inhale the heart towards the thumbs. And exhale, rest the shoulders back. We'll begin with sun salutation A. 
hands by your sides. Inhale, reach the hands up from the core of the pelvis through the hands, and belly in. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees as much as you want. Hands to the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, your favorite fingers facing forward, and step it back to plank. As you exhale, bend the elbows, they hug your ribs. Inhale, slither forward, draw the shoulders on the back, look up. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, draw the head down, look towards your belly. You have five breaths. Make sure that you have the four corners of the hands down. That's your index finger, your thumb, the base of the thumb, the base of the pinky, and the outer edge of the wrist. Press them all down. Lengthen through the arms so your armpits get really long. From here, you can exhale, broaden the shoulders, and let your heart be light. Last breath here. Bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, walk it, step it to the top of the mat, look forward. Exhale, fold the body down, bend the knees as much as you want. Inhale, we stand up, we reach high, lengthen through the entire body. Stay long as you exhale, hands by your thighs. Second variation, inhale, reach the hands up, open the chest. Exhale, the heart leads the pose, palms to the ground. Favorite finger forward. Inhale, prepare, straighten the elbows, lean forward. And as you lean forward, you feel the finger pads. You can step back or you can glide back. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, slide the hips forward, heart up and shoulders back. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, undulate the heart down, head down. Breathe. You remember about the hands, the four corners of the hands press down, and you press the mat away from you so your side body all the way towards your armpits gets long. Bring the scapula behind you, supporting the back of the heart. Keeping all of this, just bend the knees 50%. Keeping the knees bent, lift your hips up really high. Keep your tailbone there. As you exhale, press the thighs and calves back, heels down. So there is height in the shoulders, there is height in the hips. Feel what this is like. So a lot of warming up in general is just stepping into sensation and seeing where you are for the day within alignment, within proper alignment. Last breath here. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. You can step or you can float. As you inhale, you bring your hips over the wrists. And exhale, you forward fold, lengthen through the back of the legs. Inhale, stand up, reach high, look up. And exhale by your side. Last set. Inhale, open the arms wide, lift the ribs up, keep the ribs long as you exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, create space in the body, plant the hands, your favorite finger forward. You can lean forward and slowly lift up, exhale it back. Inhale, glide everything forward, rise up and tuck the toes, lift the hips, exhale. Nice. See if you can press all four corners of the hands down. Lengthen through the forearms, shoulders, heart soft, belly in, hips high. Power up the legs as the thighs drive to the back plane of the body, as do the calves. The heels draw down. Notice the body is warming up. Breathe fully. Inhale. Slowly exhale, bring the knees down. And rest your hips back onto the heels. We'll do one more wrist warm up to prepare us for our movement or our yoga practice or just the rest of our day. Slowly inhale, bring the hands in front of you and the right hand is on top. You can cross your wrists 
thumbs are down. So the palms face each other and interlace the fingers. Inhale here. And exhale, bring it all in. You could stay here as you bring the belly in. You can allow the fingers to lengthen in front of you. So we're lengthening out through the forearms. Keep the shoulders on the back. And just breathe three deep breaths. One. Two. See if you can soften spaces in the jaw and the forehead. Whatever tension we're holding, the face tends to show that. Three, wherever you got to, inhale, ease out of it, bring the hands towards you, and exhale, allow them to release. Switch the cross of your hands. Slowly the palms are facing each other, left hand higher, and exhale, cross it over. Thumbs are down, the palms face each other. Interlace the fingers, inhale here, bring the thumbs towards you. This could be enough. Maybe you choose to bring the knuckles towards your chin and stay here. If you chose to on the previous side or you want to explore, maybe you lengthen out. Three breaths. Wherever you are, see if you can settle the belly back and breathe into the back body. Two more breaths. And last one. Nice. Slowly inhale, bring it center, hug it in, and hug it down as you exhale, release. Observe how your hands feel, observe how your forearms and shoulders feel, and in general, the entire body is pretty warm. From here, you can continue to the next class, which will be a flow, or you can continue with your movement practice. Thank you for being here. Namaste.